very excited to show you guys the brand new Lumix GH5. This camera has all the latest specs with 422 coloring, it's 10-bit, it has two SD card slots so you can have continuous recording, and it shoots at 60 frames per second in 4K. But you know what? I have someone here who's a lot more experienced than I am to tell you a little bit more about it. Everyone, this is Griffin Hanley. Hey, How you doing? <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah, yeah. So, Tell us about your experience with this camera. I understand you actually did a video with it. Yeah, I've already shot a five minute documentary on the GH5 and I was very happy with it. I mean, it's familiar in a way that, I mean, it has all the functionality that the GH4 had that I love, but now it has in-body image stabilization, it's 4K 60p, they've added a lot of new features. So I saw your video, it looked really good. The quality was fantastic. Tell us a bit about your workflow using the GH5 compared to the GH4. Well, I love shooting handheld, and I mean, I still did that with the GH4, but I noticed when I was shooting in 4K, you could see the little handheld jitter. And this camera's nice because it has in-body image stabilization, so it still has handheld movement, but just that little like shake is gone, which is really nice. And low light, how does it perform in low light? Because the GH4, it was good in low light, but everybody always wants better low light. How does it compare to that? It's great. I was shooting up at 1600 ISO, not getting too much noise, and I was actually shooting this whole thing at half the shutter speed that I normally would. I was dealing with half as much light to shoot in 60p, but it performed wonderfully. That's amazing. So tell me a little bit more about having this camera on the field. Like, is it waterproof, dustproof? Yeah, actually, it's splashproof, it's freezeproof, uh, and it's still compact, even though it can shoot 4K 60p. It's still a nice, lightweight body size that I can be pretty unobtrusive. And the battery, is it the same one as the GH4? Or is it totally same different? battery that I loved from the GH3 and the GH4, which is great, so I don't have to like redo all my batteries. Yeah. And is it bigger than the GH4? Or is it, is it it's a tiny bit taller. It's a little bit heavier. I actually figured out it's about two batteries heavier. Wow. But uh, I carried this thing around handheld. I shoot a lot of handheld. Uh, for about a week and a half, and it didn't, you know, I didn't feel like it was much heavier. And I heard there's actually a 6K sensor inside. Yeah, it's actually a yeah, bigger sensor or, or more pixels than before, so it can shoot 6K photos.